Welcome to the program. I am so excited today for the opportunity to help you get your credit report straight. You know, that credit score can be blocking you from a lot of things. And many times the only reason why the credit score and the report stays the way it is is because we simply don't know how to do first things first with the credit report. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what you should do to correct this credit report yourself and get great results. This is all about the first steps you need to take. You need to watch this video all the way to the end so that you can see the great insights that are going to help you have a much better result as you work to repair your credit. Well, I'm so excited to share it with you. Let's get after it. Well, like I said, today we're going to talk about how to get that credit report straight. Now, listen, before you do anything with this credit report, there's something that you must understand. You may have heard it before, but I want to share with you very clearly what it means. And that is the system that the credit bureaus use when it comes to you clearing, disputing, checking things relative to your credit report. They use a system called eOSCAR, and it stands for Online Solution for Complete and Accurate Reporting. And listen, it's something that's interesting about this that as, as consumers, retail investors, we should understand it's owned by four companies. Four companies came together and created this thing in 1993. You'll never believe who these four companies are that own eOSCAR. Well, they are Equifax, Experian, Innovus, and TransUnion. That's right, the four largest information holding companies in this country. They hold the information they own the system that they've put in place to operate if you and I choose to dispute. Now, there's something that's very, very interesting that you and I must understand. The credit bureaus have a responsibility because of the Fair Credit Reporting Act. They have a responsibility as it relates to you and me choosing to dispute something on our credit report. The problem is they have put together a digital form called an automated consumer dispute verification. Automated consumer dispute verification. And this form uh, helps them because we send a dispute letter out to the credit bureau and then someone who works there will assign it a two or three digit E Oscar code. Now there are 29 of these codes. They'll assign it a two or three digit code. That code lets them know and it lets the company with whom we have our actual account know what kind of dispute you and I are filing. The problem with this kind of system is because you've got an overworked employee at the credit bureau assigning these things they get to pick whatever they choose, and that's what it is. What has been found out is that there are five typical disputes that are always used, and I'm going to uh, let you know what those five are. The first one is that this person says it's not his or hers. That's 30% of the time. The second one is dispute present, previous account, status, or history, that's 21%. The third one is claims inaccurate information did not provide specific dispute, that's 16%. Then disputes amount, that's 8%. And then claims account closed by consumer is 7%. Now what happens is you and I send out our dispute letter and sometimes we attach additional information with it, but an employee reads this stuff and simply attaches it a code, writes a couple of sentences and forwards it to the company with whom we have our account. 
And what will happen is simply a quick washover a lot of times, and it will say, verified, that that account is yours. Sometimes what these companies do can do through eOscar is if they can match up an, a previous address with any address associated with that account, they'll verify it as yours. And you and I, because we lack information about eOscar and how it operates, we believe we sent our dispute. Somebody's looking it over, checking it, verifying the information and sending it back to us. Well, understand this eOscar system was created, number one, to shorten the response time so that the 30-day rule would not catch credit bureaus as quickly as it used to catch them before 1993. Now, I've been involved in credit repair since the 80s. And I understand in the 80s, so it was so rapid that people were able to get things removed from credit reports because they couldn't do the verification in the 30-day period. So eOscar was created in 1993. And if you don't understand eOscar, you will simply give up when they send you that first response, which says verified. Now, what's very important to know, when you and I dispute, we do it through the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Section 612. That Section 612 gives us the right to dispute, but there's something else that you must know after you understand eOscar. E-Oscar is going to pretty much get you back something in the mail that says verified. Well, section 611A, paragraph 6 and 7, gives you a right for something called method of verification. And what I'm including in the description for this video is a sample method of verification letter because whenever you do a dispute under the eOscar system and you typically get this thing that they send back that really is they didn't really do the work, you now need to ask them for the method of verification. The method of verification is going to force them to actually show what they did, who, how, when, where, to verify that that account is correct, is yours, or whatever relates to your dispute. Method of verification is something that you and I must do. So let's understand. I'm talking about how to do this yourself and get the best results. You gotta start by knowing eOscar. You gotta know how to use method of verification anytime your dispute gets declined. Now, let's talk about something that's very, very essential and important, okay? We're moving forward to the third part. And I'm only gonna give you four things in this because this is very, very critical that you do these four things. You understand these four things first. Next thing, we're talking about getting your credit reports. And I want you to listen to me very, very carefully because we are, I'm filming this in a time of COVID and they're extending the right to get credit reports for free through April. But listen, this is what they do. If you want to get those credit reports for free, you got to go to annualcreditreport.com. Annualcreditreport.com. Annualcreditreport.com has been created by Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax to be a place where citizens could go and get their free annual credit report. Well, now that we're in COVID, you can go there and get one every week. And that's what they want you to do. And I want to tell you why that's what they want you to do. Because in section 612 of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, if you get your credit report from annualcreditreport.com, the credit bureaus no longer have 30 days to respond. They get 45. So simply because you get your credit report from annualcreditreport.com, they get 15 extra days to verify any dispute. So it's quite natural that they're going to be sending you there telling you, oh, it's free. It's, you can get one every week during COVID because you're giving them 15 more days to a lot of times do nothing but use eOscar to push out a verification letter to you telling that your address, this account, this amount has been verified and you run away. 
So what I'm suggesting to you is that you have a right to get a credit report from the credit bureaus. If you've been denied credit for any reason, you get a right to get a free credit report. Get the report straight from Equifax. Get the report straight from TransUnion. Get the report straight from Experian. Now, if you haven't been denied and you want to get the report because there's some stuff in there that you believe you want to dispute, let's just say, for instance, you have a credit sesame or you have a... Um, Credit Karma, and you're able to see your reports all the time because your subscription to that company, well, you can look in there and see what's going on and then go get the report that you want to dispute from, get the report from TransUnion, Equifax, get it from um, Experian, and then dispute directly because of the report you have gotten from them. Because now, according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they now have 30 days to respond to your dispute. So it's all about where you get the report from. 45 days, if you go with this free route that they're giving everybody because of COVID and they'll give you a free one every year. But if you dispute from that credit report, you've got 45 days that they've got to resolve this dispute. Now I'm talking about getting results. You wanna get results, you've gotta cut down the time you give them to get it done. And the way you cut it down is it might cost you a couple dollars to get the report from them, but I would rather get the report from them and cut down their opportunity for them to play this verification game with me. This is something you have got to understand. This is the way this thing works in your favor. Now here's the fourth thing. This is the very critical, important thing because now we're getting ready to do action specifically with the credit bureaus, these credit reporting agencies. Here's the first thing that you must do. This is everybody. You have got to correct by a dispute your personal information at the credit bureau. When you get that credit report, Here's something you're going to notice. You're going to notice you've got several addresses on there, aliases, different social security numbers, all this kind of stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you where this can affect you. You go apply for a job, and then they look at that credit report. There's jobs that look at your credit report, and they see that you've got these types of aliases that you use. It could paint a very negative picture for you. There's other things that are a problem. You could have old account that you are trying to resolve, and it's connected to an old address been not touched in five years, but when you send your dispute in, that eOscar system is simply going to look to find anything that connects any address they've got for you on your credit report to the address information that this credit extender has for you. And when they can match them, they will just simply send a verification to you that has been verified. So here's what you've got to do. You've got to send a dispute that you are saying to them, you want all personal information relative to you deleted and you're going to now give them these five things. One correct name. What is your correct name? You're going to give them that correct name. You're going to give them one correct date of birth. One correct date of birth. Third, you're going to give them one current address. One. Now, listen, this is going to have an effect because if you've got addresses where you've sent your credit cards and stuff like that, it's all going to go away. So you've got to make sure you update things that you need to update. But one current address. This is how you do this and when you're going to give them one social security number, one social security number and one up to date employer. If you are currently employed, who is the employer? And you're going to tell them, get rid of everything else. Now, when you send this out. You're going to send a copy of your driver's license with the personal information visible and your social security card copy so that this is verifiable that this is who you are. So that driver's license needs to have the address that you're talking about. If it doesn't get it updated, that social security number is going to show the one social security number that you want them to use. And that's what you have to have in place. Send that dispute letter. Like the other ones that I'm telling you for method of verification, you're going to send it certified, U.S. mail, you're going to get a, a copy back. This is a dispute. You want this one, one, one piece of information about you in these five categories only. You want everything else gone. Now, listen, if you start disputing anything before you do what I've said to you so far, you are not going to get the best results.
If you don't understand the E-Oscar system, if you don't understand the method of verification, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, about your credit reports, how to get them properly, and if you do not start by disputing your personal information, your results are going to be, number one, delayed. Number two, most likely going to be negative and you're going to walk away because you're not going to understand what's going on. And number three, you're not going to see what really could have been had you simply had better information. Now, one of the things I'm going to be doing over the next month here on the channel is I'm going to be showing you how you can then begin to dispute negative information in different categories. Because I've done this. I've done this for years. I sold the company. I've taught people how to do this. And I want to come back around because I'm trying to help people build, live, and sustain wealth. And I know you can't do it unless you get your credit straight. But I'm telling you this. If you don't do it in the proper order, you will not get the results you could have gotten. Well, I hope you've heard this clearly today, and I'm going to repeat this for you. You first need to understand the E-Oscar system created by the credit bureaus to help them process disputes and any kind of, uh, any kind of remittance coming from people like me and you. Second thing, you've got to understand that when they use that E-Oscar system and tell you if something's been verified, do not go away you now write them a letter that's in the description for this video, method of verification. I wanna see how you verified it. Third thing you've got to do, you've got to understand what you wanna do when it comes to getting your credit reports. Don't use the place they are sending you to because they're trying to get more time. You pay a couple dollars and get your credit reports in a way that it gives you a right to say, y'all got 30 days to get this right or else take it off my credit report. And last, we're gonna start disputing our personal information. Don't do anything else until you get this video down. Don't do anything. I don't care what anybody else is telling you. I am telling you today, if you wanna fix your credit report and you wanna see great results, start right here. I guarantee you, you're gonna thank me I guarantee you're going to appreciate it. And if you've already been trying this other stuff to stop and look at this video again and take the four pieces of information that I have shared with you today personally, activate them and you watch the results that you're going to get. Well, it's been my absolute pleasure to share this with you on today. I look forward to sharing these things that I'm going to be doing over the next 30 days with you in how to get this credit straight because I guarantee you, we can get it done. Well, you have an absolutely great day. I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Be blessed. Do you want to live wealthy and pass wealth on to your generations? If so, then you're probably aware that 95% of people 65 years of age are not financially independent. This is a depressing number when 100% of 25-year-olds say yes to our question of wanting to live wealthy. This is the reason Dwayne Youngblood launched Be Wealthy 2 and why you should connect with them today. Be Wealthy 2 believes living wealthy is the right of every human, but not the guarantee. They believe to live wealthy, you must eliminate all bad debt, establish good credit, begin an investment plan where you invest in either stocks, bonds, crypto, real estate, art, or some other asset that will put income in your pocket, all while living an authentic life. Once you connect with Be Wealthy 2 and Dwayne's team, you will be on your way to building, living, and sustaining a wealthy life.